And now mental health with mental health. Hello, hello, welcome back from break. I hope that you're all having an incredible start of the week. This week's mental health tip is to stop apologizing so much. This is something that I struggle with, and it's called the sorry reflex, where we apologize for things that we don't need to be apologizing for. You can take away your self-confidence. You can be apologizing for things that are human, or that you just take up space, or just expressing yourself and being human is wrong. And it's not being you and expressing yourself and being silly and crazy and quiet and loud is all incredible things that make you you. And you should never apologize for that. It's like a part of you. And so when you apologize for that, it can be very hurting to yourself. Something you can do instead that's super empowering is to not apologize for these things and to instead say thank you. Or did that make sense? Or things like that that are not apologizing for being you. I hope this is helpful and it's so, so, so freeing. Yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of the week and I'll see you in the next couple of weeks. Bye. Here's the sports report. Welcome back to the sports report. Hey Cougs, season one sports are starting this week. Make sure you check your email for those final forms updates. That's a great job, Johnny. Johnny, that was... Thanks for watching though. Sports report. Come voice your opinion at Student Senate this Wednesday. And here's the birthday team with the birthdays. Hey Kooks, it's your birthday team, and welcome back to this, this week's, week's birthdays. birthdays. There's no birthdays today, but happy birthday tomorrow to Franklin and Sage. Happy birthday on Thursday to Blaine, Justin, Kristen, and Rolando. Happy, happy birthday, birthday Kooks. Kooks. Birthday team on three. Ichi, ni, sa. Birthday, birthday team. team. And now Wacky Facts. What's up, Bothell? Welcome back to this week's episode of Wacky Facts. I'm Doug, and I'm your host. And for this week's Wacky Fact, did you know that a group of giraffes is called a tower? Isn't that wacky? We'll see you next week. Today, we're honoring Mae C. Jemison and her accomplishments in this world and as a former NASA astronaut. At Stanford, she received a Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering, and at Cornell, she received a doctorate degree in medicine. She went on to be an Area Peace Corps medical officer in West Africa. After that, she went to NASA and had many different accomplishments. At NASA, she was a science mission specialist on the STS-47 Space Lab J, which was a cooperative mission between the U.S. and Japan. It was an eight-day mission in space, and she was the co-investigator on the bone cell research experiment that was done on the mission. Dr. Jemison also made many accomplishments in the medical and scientific research fields. Thank you, Dr. Jemison, for making an impact on our world. Hey Cougars, recently we have a huge area conference for DECA this year. We really want to take a moment to congratulate everyone who competed in their events. We had an astounding 91 people compete this year, which is more than we ever had before. We had a large amount of those people go to state. So as the screen goes by, you're going to see a lot of names. All these people competed, and we want to give a moment of recognition for each one of them. Also, teachers, if you know any of these people, please sure to give them a huge shout out. This is a huge deal to compete this year, and it was a really tough competition this year. Another thing we wanted to talk about was the toy drive. We had a lot of toys come out this year for the toy drive, and we're so thankful for everyone who submitted toys. Uh, a lot of people were able to be helped through the Salvation Army, uh, and a lot of kids had a great kids for Christmas this year. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was we had 15 people go to state, which is huge, a huge deal, more than we've ever had before. And these are the special people who have gone to state before, and we just want to give a recognition to them, because these people are going to be going to state and hopefully aiming for nationals. So wish them lots of luck. Congratulations to everyone who competed. It's a lot of hard work and a lot of hours put in. We really respect you guys for competing. We're excited to see what you guys do next year, and see you later, Cougars. Here's me, with the weather. Oh, back to the weather, man. We saw a little bit of snow. We aren't predicting anymore. We're still seeing those cold weather, weather though, and it's gonna be raining. So bundle up, the usual, and you know, keep dry and uh, stay inside. <laughs> I'll see you next week, Cooks. Here's Cole and Mercer at the back porch. Welcome back, everybody, to the back Go porch on. today. I'm Cole, and I'm Mercer. And today we're talking about what our favorite 
uh, mode of transportation is. How do we like to get around town? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, not every not day. Not bikes. Not, no mopeds either. We're, we're not cool enough for the mopeds. Not two wheels. Yeah. At least three. Mm -hmm. what's your favorite mode of transportation? I'm gonna go with the classic tricycle. I think it's, uh, that's a great pick, man. Because triangles are like the most stable shape, mm -hmm. I think. That's what I, I know so that. Everyone, that's common. Everybody knowledge. knows that. You learned that way back when. So, your ABCs and so the triangles are the I most just, stable shape. Yeah, I just drive around town on a tricycle. That's yeah. what I like. Cole, what's your favorite mode of transportation? Trains. Oh. Yep. Uh, do you have like a little conductor hat? In yeah. the, all right. I was, I'm gonna, not going to lie. I was a big Thomas the Tank Engine guy. Were you? Yeah. Just I said it because I thought I said trains because I thought it, it might did, be funny. But they're just cool, dude. I wasn't. I'm not. I don't know anything about trains. Okay. Uh, I like trains. Yep. I would totally drive around. You drive around on trains. Yep. I'm, you put tracks out wherever. They you always want. they're like, "Hey, okay, Cole, Cole's out in his train." Yeah. Just just taking that chugga, train chugga, for a little cruise. Yep. Nice. Thank, Thank you for watching the back porch. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week.